Welcome back to Focus on the Falls. I'm John Merck here. Excited to be joined by a couple very special guests. I have Mike Tamas. He is the uh, media creations teacher here at North. And I'm also joined by Caden Levenhagen and Ava Kaza Kazarowski. Thank you so much for being with us. All right, I'm gonna talk to your teacher in a second here, but I'm really excited to talk to you guys about the cool commercials. I watched some of the commercials. They're fun, they're interesting. Tell me what you felt. I'll start with you, Caden, when you found out you were gonna be doing the commercial and you were gonna own it from beginning to end. How'd you feel about that? It was actually gonna, it was very fun. It was like, you know, you feel so, it, you're, you're so shocked when you hear, you know, I'm gonna be presenting a commercial in front of an entire class. That it's yours, like yeah. you're gonna, you get to come up with the idea, you execute how it's shot, getting it put together, all of it, right, from beginning to end? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ava, was it overwhelming? Was it scary? Was it exciting? Kind of talk through how you felt about that. It was really exciting. I didn't really feel that overwhelmed because I agree with Kaden. It was like, oh, we're, we're gonna be presenting a commercial. We're gonna be recording it at the store. Like, it was just really exciting. Okay, I'm going to ask you about each of your commercials in a minute, but first, Mike, I want to ask you about, I, I love this because it's a partnership between your students, your class, and the community. Can you talk about that partnership that develops as this project gets underway? Right. I mean, I always feel it's important. Can we find a way to bring the community into the classroom and vice versa? And this project really gives us that opportunity to get the kids out there get um, hanging out with businesses and talking to them and how can we work with them and it provides an opportunity not only to get the students out into the community but to get the community to understand what we're doing in the classroom and to really work with each other and you know my goal is that we make commercials that make the students and parents want to go to these businesses and and spend money there because you know during the pandemic who's been hurting it's our local businesses right so maybe this is our way of giving back to the community a little bit. They gave a lot to us with the referendum. Maybe this is a small way that we can give back to them. And I think it's a really great opportunity. To I love that. that. That's a great way to put it. So your kids are excited. We have a couple here we're going to talk to about their commercials in a second. The community, how do the businesses react? They must be thrilled when this happens too. Yeah, so these guys, they both, they had two different groups. They both did Poppy in Time. And I remember the first time that I walked into Poppy in Time, um, the owner, Layla, she's like, oh, I know you. I'm so excited. We've been waiting for you to ask us. So um, we, that was really cool to see. And we've had, uh, especially the businesses we had this year, um, they've worked with us before and they've loved what we've done. And so they're working with us again. So uh, every year that we've done this, we've always seemed to have really good interactions and the business owners want to do this with us. So. It's been good I so love it. far. It's a great partnership. All right, let's talk about your commercial. So you both featured Poppy and Time, mm -hmm. a cool local shop here in the falls that's trying to get through the pandemic. And your commercials are very different and they're both really, really cool. I'm gonna start with you, Caden. Tell me about your commercial. I saw it and I loved it, but if I'd never seen the commercial, describe your commercial for me. Well, it's just, it's about, you know, like how Poppy and Time changed my life to where I was, you know, like a, unpopular smelly boy and then <laughs> two two girls found me and helped me out and they gave me some popping time soap and they're not popular you became fun you became popular yeah, i was the guy now how fun was it to put it together it was phenomenal it was like one of the best things i've done in my entire life was it difficult was it more difficult or less difficult than you thought as you thought about it from the beginning and then how it ended up actually taking place? Well, I was kind of concerned about the going to the store part, but Layla, she's such a good business owner and she was so helpful and she's in our commercial. But yeah, it was just an overall great experience. Well, you did a great job putting all the pieces together. It was really cool. All right, Ava, you also did Poppy in Time. Tell me about your commercial. Well, ours is about, we have four students who are having a really bad day. Um, all different scenarios and they head over to Poppy in Time. Layla gives us a bag filled with a bunch of goodies and we all feel so much more relaxed and so much and feel like so much more better about our bad day. Ava, did you think about the help to the community and the help to Poppy in Time and how important it was to focus on local businesses when you were putting this together? Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, we, in the beginning, we weren't really thinking about that, but towards um, the end, we were like, we're doing this for Poppy in Time, so 
we were really trying to make it the best commercial we could ever do. You know, one of the things I was excited about when I watched it was, my gosh, look at it, in media creations, they're doing this cool stuff in the middle of a pandemic, we're still doing our thing. Has it been difficult, Caden, learning differently, working on projects differently this year than in other years? Yeah, and it's one of, it's actually, it's super hard and very difficult because, you know, doing projects, you have to meet up with groups out of school and, you know, you got to social distance and it's just really difficult to communicate with people when you have to do it, you know, over FaceTime instead of being with your friends. Do projects like this make it more rewarding because you've done something so cool and meaningful? Yeah, it, it just like makes your heart warm when you can see, you know, how like you're helping out a local business. So Ava, I know you're learning a lot virtual these days. When you can work collaboratively on a project like this and be in the community, how important is that? It's really important um, that I get to actually work with people in person. It's a really great experience um, during this pandemic because during virtual, we don't really do many projects. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. Mike, I know you're always proud of the work your kids do and you do a great job and they do great work. With the challenges that everybody's facing this year, can you take me inside as an educator how you feel about the work that's still getting done? Well, it's just important to remember how resilient our kids are, um, you know, and sometimes uh, they're better than us at certain things, right? Maybe they perhaps are more resilient. And you know what? They've had lots of disagreements with ideas for their commercial, yet somehow they tend to compromise and come up with a solution that works, which I think could be a lesson <laughs> for us, right? Uh, but I've just been really impressed how, no matter the obstacle, um, they really took to having a sense of pride about the work they're doing, which is always nice to see. I think sometimes adults look at kids and go, oh, if only they had pride in their work. Well, you know what? My students have pride in their work, and I think it shows through in the commercials they have. In addition to these commercials, it was Nino's, it was Whitland's, it was Bank of Flowers, it was businesses, small ones in our community that are still trying to figure it out. You guys did a fantastic job. I'm excited for everybody to see the commercials. Thank you so much for joining us today on the show. Yeah. Thank you. The students from North Middle School stopped by. We had two groups that came by um, for two very different commercials about Poppy and Time for their media creations class. Working with the kids was great. Um, I actually got to have an acting role in um, both of the commercials, so that was kind of fun. I think it's just amazing, especially with the way that they're having to do it with the pandemic. Um, I was actually worried that it was going to be canceled because of that, but they figured out a way to make it happen, and I was so excited to be part of it again. I think that they just had to get real creative, and um, I'm just really thrilled with how it turned out. What's that smell? Hey guys. Kaden, do you smell that? Smell what? We have, have a, a big, big problem. problem. What is it? Teenage, Teenage boy. boy. Oh, I think I've got something for you. This will work. I'm so glad I found you. This is for you. Take a moment to melt your day away with Poppy and Time.